that would have been a beautiful shot right there. I'm not going to make it in time, so maybe actually. Nice to introduce myself and today I want to introduce you to this little bad boy here the Polaroid SX70 I want to go out take a few photos of it uh, with it it's uh, I got two photos left and that's we're going to jump back and forth uh, in the timeline between me now and me a few weeks or months back when I did some recording with that camera before and I will tell you why I like this camera why I may not like this camera why this camera is not for you and what this camera is all about in general. All right, let's get into it. SX70, the very first foldable SLR ever created. So an actual single lens reflex. There's a mirror in there and you look through the mirror. It's a very, very big viewfinder and it's just awesome to look through it and kind of see what the photo is going to be looking like. Now we come to the front of the camera where we see the lens and two dials. One is for the exposure and the other one is for focusing. And then you also got the shutter button that is blue. The focusing distance on this camera is really insane. It goes from 0.3 meters all the way up to infinity. And that just is really remarkable. You can get really, really close to your subject. The metering system on this camera is a little bit tricky. If you want to have it brighter, you turn it to the white side of the wheel. If you want to have the photo darker, you turn it to the dark side of the wheel. That's pretty much all you can control as the camera decides the shutter speed itself. By turning the wheel all the way to white, the little black window there doesn't let as much light through, so the camera thinks the shutter needs to be open a little bit longer. That also however means it matters what light is on that little window and not on your lens nor on your subject. Wäre es okay, wenn ich ein Polaroid-Foto von Ihnen schieße, während Sie da sitzen und das Buch lesen? Das ist cool, vielen Dank. Ich spiele die Zeit wieder. thing I've done because I think that was so overexposed because I did a photo right in the sun. Okay, so the idea is pretty simple. I want this little carousel, can you see it? Yeah, this one to move and then also the, the swings and then because it's a long exposure uh, it will be blurry and maybe it looks like ghosts are here so maybe we can capture that. I don't want to take much more of your time by talking about this camera any longer. 
I think it's really, really beautiful and an awesome piece of creation. They still make film for it and that's just awesome. It's roughly two euros or dollars for one photo and I think that's okay for a printed piece of memory. You can get really close to your subjects and also get out of focus areas which with other film, instant film cameras at least, that's usually really difficult. One thing to be mindful of though is how the metering works. So you can get dark photos sometimes if you forget that the metering is not through the lens. Another thing that is really interesting is that the films take a long time to develop, sometimes 30 minutes. Even after one day I still saw some changes happening sometimes, so if you don't want the film to get any darker, sometimes you need to take it out of a pocket and then leave it in the daylight a little bit so that it doesn't develop any further. Adding to that, it's really interesting to see how the photos look way different in like bright situations and dark situations. So sometimes just keep that in mind depending on where you want to put the photo. Leave it darker or maybe make it a little bit brighter. Overall, I would say if you're into photography and just like the process of taking photos and then waiting for them to be developed, etc. This camera is totally for you. The looks are awesome. You can take it anywhere and it's just an amazing piece of history to have. At least that's my opinion on it. Okay, I hope this jumping back and forth wasn't too much for you because I just really wanted to show you all instances and how I used it and show the photos that I used because now I just had two left and I just really wanted to show you so I used some footage from before. I hope you learned something about the camera that you didn't know before or maybe I could just show you what it looks like when you look through the viewfinder because I was always interested in that. But again, that's me for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did so, please leave a like and comment down below what you enjoyed and what you would want to see me do next because I will upload a video every day. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> that was a weird ending, wasn't it? <laughs>